As they always are here in Atlanta, all eyes are going to be on the number nine car here at the Quaker State 400 as we wait for the green flag to drop at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The 2020 Cup Series champion in Chase Elliott has never missed NASCAR's postseason in his seven full time seasons since coming up in 2016, but he's on the brink of missing the cut this year. After missing seven races combined between breaking his leg in March and serving a suspension after he returned, eight races remain in the regular season, including tonight to punch his ticket get to the playoffs with a win, but Elliott said he doesn't feel like his team is behind. I think we need to be better, um, but I feel like we've been at, we've been executing races at a at a high level over the last month or so, which I think is is a really really good thing. And it, I think our team is in a really good place. We just need a little bit of pace, and I've been saying that over the last couple of weeks. But I think a lot of that falls on me to to extract that pace, to know in the early stages of the event or even in our our short practice session <clears throat> to say hey i need this this and this uh to go better i think i think all those things are on me and and to to make sure that i'm i'm giving the information that needs to be given to help lead our team in a in a better direction when it you know, in those crucial moments. So right now, Chase Elliott is 24th in points, 55 away from the elimination line. But in his 11 starts in 2023, the number nine has scored five top five finishes and seven top tens, four top five finishes in the last five races. And while last year's win here in Hampton still means a lot to him, he said he's ready to add on more wins here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. In Hampton, Kelly Price, Fox 5 Sports.